Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be dyeing my daughter's hair with Arctic Fox with this blue and this purple. It's Poseidon and uh, is the blue. I don't remember the name of the purple one. And then I'm going to finish the ends with this aquamarine at the bottom. What I ended up doing is I mixed the two, the blue and the purple together, and it made a really pretty color. Actually, when I was done with her hair, I kind of wished that I <laughs> did my hair the same color as hers. I already went through and I put that A and D ointment around her face. You can use um, put any kind of petroleum jelly. It just makes sure that the dye doesn't stick to your skin as much. And it makes it a lot easier to wash off. Otherwise, the hair dye can actually stay in your skin for a couple days. Which isn't terrible, but it's also kind of not the greatest either. Yeah, it's a really pretty color coming out. Now I'm going to start applying. I have started using brushes more. I'm just doing the top coat because that's going to be what most people see. So I definitely want it to be the most saturated for all of her, out of all of her hair. And you can see I did get some on her scalp, but I'm not worried at all because I can get it off just as easily because of the petroleum jelly. You need to make sure that you go through and you move hair to the side so you get every layer nice and saturated. Of course, my lines or like when I'm sectioning it, sectioning it <laughs> isn't fantastic because I'm not using an actual hairbrush to separate the hair. I'm using the end of the, uh, the paintbrush, which isn't exactly like the most pointed or the most sharpest, but because it's rounded at the end of it, that paintbrush, it also doesn't hurt her scalp when I run the paintbrush through that hair to try and separate it some more. Again, I'm just doing the roots at the moment, maybe like close to two inches probably in length, I would say, somewhere around there. That's typically the length I go when I do like the root area, about two inches, sometimes a little bit more, depending on how it just turns out or how it happens. Now for the back. I should tell people or let people know, remind them, however you want to phrase it. This is an incredibly long process. My daughter did a really good job at sitting still. We had stuff on the TV for her to watch. We also had to take like a couple breaks so she could go get some food or, you know, go to the bathroom, whatever needed to be done. But this took us over an hour to do her hair, which is about as long as it takes to do mine. Granted, even though my daughter does not have long hair, she does have really thick hair. We are almost done now with the first color. Also, as a reminder, make sure that you and your kids or whoever is getting it done has clothes on that they don't mind getting stained because the stain the color won't come out the dye won't come out I'm also going through and brushing the hair this is going to help me be able to see if there's areas that are missing any dye or maybe don't have enough dye now I'm going in with the aquamarine at the ends or like the middle ends and I'm brushing it out. I'm going through and brushing the strands out as well just to make sure. Because it's easier that way. Instead of doing this at the end. It's better to do that where you're brushing it out. To check and see if you missed any strands or if it's not saturated enough. It's easier to do it as you go for the ends. <laughs> for, the ends of the, for the ends of your hair. Instead of at the end of like the whole process. What I did end up doing as well for some of the strands at the aquamarine. So I did the aquamarine 
But then I also, for some random ones, I went back through with the same color that I used at the top. And I just did like the very, 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 very tips of her hair. Like just a couple random ones throughout her hair where I just did the very tips, that blue and purple combination. And it looked really pretty at the end. There's a cat and my dog in the background running around. See? Eating break. We needed to take a break for food. You can use a paintbrush to apply the dye, or you can use just your fingers. Make sure you have gloves on, obviously, so you don't dye your hands. I used to just use my hands, and obviously I still do, to like rub it in um, and blend it. But as you can tell, I'm also using a paintbrush to apply the dye and then going back through with my hands to really get it in and rub it. So I've started using a combination of techniques when dyeing my hair or my daughter's hair. Okay, this is the last bit of her hair. Thank goodness. I'm telling you, it took a long time to do it. it. took an hour. I'm still making sure that I'm going through and I'm saturating. I'm doing the hair layers from top to bottom because that's what works best for me when I do it. I know other people like to do bottom to top, but eh. This is, ju this is just my, I don't want to say technique. This is just works best for me. This is how I like to do it. So this is how it's done. I also want to make a note that I didn't force my daughter to do this. She wanted her hair dyed blue, and I said yes. She doesn't have school because it's the summer vacation when this happened. So completely, totally okay. We don't have to worry about, like, any of that crap. So just wanted everyone to know. Um, again, going through, heavily saturating, blending all the way up. Um, when you are done dyeing all the hair you need to put like a hair cap uh, on and let everything soak for 45 minutes if you don't have a hair cap you can use like a grocery bag and keep keep it in um a grocery bag for 45 minutes before rinsing it out in cold water and I like to do it in our sink because it's metal and sometimes if you do it in the bathtub that's white it'll actually stay in the bathtub this is her hair. I think it came out pretty good. She liked the color a lot. I will say now that it's been like two or three weeks, the roots didn't stick, but again, I didn't bleach her hair. Anyway, I didn't bleach her hair to do this. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.